Hello, guys, I'm Streamkey here, and I decided to tackle a little bit of a not a character of the actual comics publisher. And and this man knows Quack Fu. And I'm talking, and that character is Howard the Duck. Yes. Dimension. Now, he's been a character I have been thinking of doing like a voice comics video for quite some time. And so, here we go. How did Duck first appear in the 1990s man thing during like the 1970s? During likely after the Comic Code 40 was actually allowing more horror characters. <sighs> then, he, how did Duck appear in one of the issues? He was originally just going to be a one-off character, but due to his popularity, he got pretty a lot more. So, so then he can do it. Then after some similar cameo appearances later, got his own title, which I also Spider-Man in it. Because well, you have to realize this is a cartoony duck in a in a realistic comic book world, and also he should is also a cigar trapping character. So, what about him? Well. He has actually under many controversies. He's even run for president. Yeah. So, it's a little side thing just to keep us from not being bored. And to. Then there were the lawsuits. Two of them. One is from Howard Duck's career, Steve Gerber. He was actually sued Marvel over, over ownership, which. which he probably lost, but. But he technically did win in a comic. And then then too Disney sued Marvel because Howard looked too much like Donald Duck. With a cigar. And that's what you like about the lawsuit thing. They slapped some pants on him in a in a magazine series. Because, uh, well, Prime Comics weren't really accepted then, given how how are you just more to an older audience. Now, about the premise. Howard, he comes from our world, but from our world, from his world. There's the world of death. Then, where we get to also see is his girlfriend, Beverly. We, well, he, his girlfriend doesn't appear in the later issues. Then you also have his bell-headed arch nemesis, Dr. Bong, who once actually fell in love with Beverly. Beverly even had his bell-headed children. And yeah, I know his name sounds like kind of like a type of thing you usually do drugs with. And who else? Dr. Bong... His neutral power is the same thing also weaknesses him. By using some part of him, he just bangs his head. But, but if someone uses a different thing, it it hurts them. So yeah, the same way that he uses to annoy people. Also, but if he uses something else, he has like there's some other random villains. So that's most likely. So what happened also? Well, ah, he started becoming a lot more obscure. It wasn't until his 1986 movie, I guess, came out, where he got a live action movie, which was actually the first movie, Marvel movie, to be in theaters. Technically, if, if you don't count the Captain America serials. But that movie was probably very mixed with people. Then uh, Marvel bought Max, which, which were how it turns into a mouse. Yeah, that's led to that. Where he tried to actually, the series was kind of weird though. But unfortunately, his creator, Steve River, didn't get to see him another in the movie scene again, as he died in two. Uh, Steve River died in 20, 2008. Or 2008, a year before Disney bought Marvel, and now, 
But after the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, he actually got a reboot in the mainline Marvel Universe. He doesn't have the cigar thing, but he's still his usual snarky self. Which I actually do own a on the Avengers of the latest series. And so that's pretty much that's pretty much Howard the Duck. I didn't mention all the stuff about him, but he is kind of a very weird character to mention everything. And so, that's all for the stuff. That's the like button, click the and bye bye! And this is the only weird Marvel character I could tell you guys about. But you're gonna have to wait for a little pig, then also a football player. Oh, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. What's my schedule for December? I could squeeze that pig in.